Tonight, questions of a possible hate crime now circle the execution-style murders of three Muslim college students. The pain felt everywhere, including right here in Tampa. Our Alex Hobson joins us live in the studio with the outpouring we're seeing here. Alex? Well, right now here on Twitter, you can see the hashtag Muslim Lives Matter just flooding the feeds, along with this image, a tribute to the three young Muslims that lost their lives. Extremely heartbreaking and overwhelming and shocking. Uh, everyone's in shock. From the office of CARE Florida to the campus of USF. Hearing them so broken and so hurt has left me in a state of even more devastation. The pain of what happened in an apartment near UNC Chapel Hill. Three North Carolina honors students, all Muslim, shot to death. Their neighbor, 46-year-old Craig Hicks, arrested. Hicks' family calling it a dispute over parking. But the victim's family say it runs much deeper than that. She literally told me, Daddy, I feel he hates us for how we look and how we dress. The families of 19-year-old Razana Busala and newlyweds 23-year-old Dia Barakat and 21-year-old Yusor Mohammed are asking authorities to investigate these murders as a hate crime, which the employees at CARE tell us have been happening at an alarming rate. Tonight they showed us email after email, twice the threats they normally receive in just one week, including one today thanking the alleged North Carolina shooter. It's that kind of hateful rhetoric that demonizes an entire group of people that I think uh, makes it okay in some person's mind to take the life of three innocent, wonderful human beings. One, a family friend, Barakat, a dental student, and Hassan Shibli's father, a dentist, both were actively involved in providing free dental care to Syrian refugees. He's really shaken, and one of his concerns is, you know, is this going to happen again? It just shows you that people's minds are closed. There is no form of safety from that. But what they can do is come together. Tomorrow at 4 p.m., the Muslim Student Association will be holding an emergency vigil at USF, telling me all faiths are welcome to voice their solidarity and pay their respect to the legacy these victims left. Jameson.